Just scoops it up. Gets there before the defender. He's already gone to the ground. He'll have six minutes of stoppage time. Actual Lopez. Years old. He is the man that this young team relies on. When we were talking to Brendan Burke, talking about. And we are underway. Bethlehem in the blue Bur of the season, which Birmingham lost two to zero. That was the first loss in club history. Obviously, they have gone on and changed things around for them as they look to make that playoff push here in their expansion season for Birmingham. They're coming off a win one to zero against Memphis, 9-0-1. And when talking with Tom Sohn about that game, he said it was a frustrating win, but at the same time satisfying. He thinks that their team can still polish things up and create more of a positive run, more positive chances, but they need to get better when it comes to eight wins, 10 losses, five draws, and they have 28 points, I should say 29 points, as they sit in that 10th and final spot. And this is gonna come to a little bit more in July. Also signed a pre-contract with Philadelphia Union on the same day. Played off by Ken Gay. You're looking at it with Bethlehem Steel. There's a lot of youth on the team. Average age is 19 years old. The oldest player on the team being James Chambers at 32. The next second of the year, Sergio Santos. This is going to come back. Curiel. Trail towards the midfield. There's a good opportunity there for Galina to get his first strike on target. He's just leant back a little bit too much and it sailed way over the crossbar. But you can see the intent and energy. Bethlehem are not going to sit back. They're definitely going after, after Birmingham. And they get out with that first goal. If they can be threatening, they'll pose a big threat to Birmingham. Real sends it in towards the spot, headed away. Getting up for that was J.J. Williams. Like a J.J. Williams. And that's just one of, one of the characters that we, that we highlight when it comes to the, the difference that we have in the rosters. Van Oko will play with so much experience. It's not just the experience as a player, but the leadership. The Inside. That one takes deflection and now cleared forward. This is going to come back all the way to Van Oko. He has the aspirations for this team to be successful, despite, you know, they, they're very much the underdogs in terms of making the, the championship. They're very much the underdogs, probably, in terms of being successful in this game. But he says that every day in training, he puts a winning mentality. Galena and Santos up top, players who are on contracts with Philadelphia Union, they have threats, they have pace, they have, they have skill, they have the ability to break down defences. So Birmingham definitely cannot underestimate them. And now pushing forward. Six goals on the season. Meanwhile, for Birmingham Legion, they are led by Prosper Kasim, who has four goals on the year. Right behind him, though, the striker, Brian Wright. Wright with three. Birmingham just... To break out of their scoring slump and get more consistent with scoring multiple goals in a game. I just want to get off onto that front foot and build that lead. And give yourself a little bit of a cushion as well. Ward plays it forward. It's a clearance there. And now Lopez will play it down towards midfield. Laurent outstretched his leg there. I think he probably managed to get his big toe onto that one to keep it from passing him. But that's the defensive commitment and, and passion that they defended. That they defended that's allowed them to keep so many clean sheets. Kenge goes over the top. Baizo chips it in. And you spoke earlier, you know, about Birmingham. They're not a team that scores a, a ton of goals, but they've been successful in winning games. This is the problem for Be that Bethlehem face now. Birmingham will be happy to win this game 1-0. Lopez. For Kasim, that one in the 20th minute, assisted by Akeem Ward. Turner comes near side. Osito trying to find a via, but that pass too strong as Baizo takes it away. Cortez. And he'll go wide. 
another chance for Bethlehem. Santos presented the most danger for Bethlehem so far in this first 35 minutes. That's momentum. It's very difficult for him to just to stop like that. He actually tries to get out the way of the defender. Uh, the referee still issues him a yellow card and he finds himself in the book. For Mikey Lopez, that is his sixth yellow card of the season. So he's already sat one game due to suspension. Ward trying to cut this off and he plays back to Van Oakle. But both these two teams looking much different than they did in that March match. To Zandi, the man that was just knocked over in the box, and now we'll have a red card handed out. So we'll have a straight red given out. Maybe a little bit more immature of these two squads, but Birmingham obviously getting a red card too. And you're looking at veteran leadership, you're looking at Ervo, he's 21 years old, he knows what happens in the league. But also deserve to get a red card, but sometimes in the flow of the game, the referee can manage the flow of the game without doing everything directly by the book. Right, fighting for position. Avia sends it in. J.J. Williams heads it forward, and that one stopped by Morton. And now J.J. Williams takes a knee. He was down early. <laughs> Sandy just coming down the left side. If you look out far on the right side, the fullback's in tons of space on his own if he's able to switch the play. For Zach Sandy, the 23-year-old out of Villanova. This is his first year. Birmingham now, their objective will be, can they get out of here, away from home, with three points? Talk about them just trying to get three points on the road, make a run, because if you can just go on. Williams stutters, works his way inside. Williams with the left, and that one blocked. Turner. Williams just struggling there to get the ball out of his feet and, and get enough space to get a shot off on goal. Williams creates a little space there with the left, and that one rises above the bar. Williams had it. Real. The players that at one point or another have MLS experience. Yeah, but, and that experience can't be underestimated coming down to this, this stage of the season and into the playoffs. I see there was some fantastic work in front of this back four. Lost one up. Kasim on the far wing. Sends it in with his left, trying to find Williams, oh. and just over the bar. Big miss there from Williams. Oh. Crossbar, but fantastic delivery from outside here. Actually hits his shoulder. Takes his eye off the ball, hits his shoulder. That pass actually coming from Kasim Prosper, the man who scored the goal. Cromwell sends it in. Headed back by Galena. Lopez trying to find its way to the outside of the box. Chance for Wright. Wright creates a little space. He's trying to go over to J.J. Williams, and if he's able to complete that pass to J.J. Williams, team's leading goal scorer with six goals will come in for Bethlehem. Issa Rayan will come out. Rivera signed his first pro contract last year with Bethlehem. As the player that was having the most success in Santos has been off since late in the first half with the red card. And it's probably a smart substitution also. Coach realized Rayan was on a... That shot blocked. Ferris. Post, I think they find themselves on, on the score sheet, but just unable to get there. But fantastic play again. Ferris having a huge part in that. And now. Big ball there from Royal and steaming in at the back post there. I think Galena just unable to get anything onto it, but fantastic build up there. Play, play, build up play there from Bethlehem. Unlucky not to find themselves. Look. And nothing going on that try. Buys the man to get his head on it for Bethlehem. They'll try to send it right back into the mixer. And that one flicked back. And now Birmingham with two. Spent that amount of time with a Premier League Academy or a Championship Academy. There's something special about it.
Ferris. Trying to go right back to Real Lopez. Kenge. And now here is Chambers. Chambers with four games of experience. 32 years old. He is the man that this young team relies on. When we were talking to Brendan Burke, talking about just how important he is as this is flipped over. Galena cuts back. Still loose. Galena with a wide open net. And he finds the top corner. At the ball. But ultimately, Galena would score for Bethlehem. And now they trail by one. Plenty of time to find an equalizer. But that's also the way you want to respond. Right after that second goal takes place, they weren't deflated. They weren't out of it. They just went. The game, I'm tempted to give him man of the match, and he's only been on the field for 20 minutes. But now you're seeing the tide switch here to Bethlehem. Tune in to ESPN3 on August 30th for a special Friday night edition of Wednesday Night Soccer, one of the championship's biggest rivalry. Kasim Lopez, and that's going to find the back. And now three goals for Birmingham. And then the same mistake that Santos made similarly in the first, towards the, the, the first half. And then um, now he finds himself on the bench also suspended for next week's game. And now Bethlehem down to nine men on the pitch. Got the number 14 overall in this year's 2019 MLS Super Draft for DC United. It's going to be card, and for sure it's going to be a yellow. That will go against Cromwell. Looks like a second. Knotted down by Laurent. So it's going to be an interesting closing to this game. Bethlehem down the goal. Can they push numbers forward, get the ball forward, get into the box and try to create a scoring opportunity to get themselves back into this game? Birmingham, on, on the other hand, down to nine players. Can they defend this lead that they have? And still three points from Bethlehem. Look what the Irish National has done. U15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Did it pretty much all levels for Ireland. Just provides that, that veteran leadership and, and guidance, probably both in training and on the field. It, it's almost 10 years. You know, however, however this result turns out to be, I think that both of them have a lot of positives to take forward and they should be proud of how they perform this evening. Femi was able to head that one away. We all have six minutes of stoppage time. Chambers. Galena to his right. And now Bethlehem will have to make one last run here. They want a chance to find an equalizer in stoppage time. Baizo cuts inside. Baizo trying to get around Colbert. V1 over to help is Johnson. That ball is tracking for Zandi. Into the area. Shot, and that one rises over. Great look there from Kenge.